Hey, I heard that you had some great news to share with us about some problem you had that we've been working on helping your body function better with NAET and nutrition. And can you tell us a little bit about what happened and maybe even your first name? Yeah, hi, my name's Jen, and I struggled with skin issues for about 10 years. These little tiny blisters, patches of blisters that would, you know, come and go away and then come back. But it was like pretty much right after the next one would go away, another one would come back. So I struggled with that for the last 10 years. And a doctor told me that I had a wheat sensitivity. But then I started researching it a little bit more when I was doing the Nate. And I came across nickel. And then I told Dr. Johnson that, you know, I wanted to try to see if I was allergic to nickel and the Nate. And sure enough, it was pretty bad. And so now I've been working on it for, you know, about a month and a half. And I'm like all cleared up from my skin problems in the last two or three weeks. So I'm really happy about that because it was really sensitive. You know, imagine having little blisters under your fingertip or something. So it could be painful. Yeah, it was painful. Like you're like almost like a burn. Wow. Yeah. So it was like very sensitive, you know. And so, yeah, I'm really happy. And Dr. Johnson's really been helping me out. So. All right. Well, that's excellent. Um, it's really amazing all the interesting things that people come in with right and you mysterious out, problems right. and then naet has been able to help us help a lot of people with some very interesting problems yeah and, and now i know it really helps because this was the actual <laughs> skin problem right. that was visible and you know yeah. painful and it's totally gone and kudos to you for finding that connection <laughs> between wheat and nickel right right yes because there's you, certain foods that are high in nickel so wheat is one of them and there's a million other ones okay spinach is one of them you wouldn't even know peas yeah so there's a lot of different um foods that you probably eat every day and you wouldn't realize that it absorbs nickel from the soil so yeah so this is a good example of how working with a patient is a partnership with the doctor because you know i can't know everything right 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 i know a lot but I don't yeah, know everything. Yeah, I was originally working and on mold, so this yeah. was a side thing. So yeah. this is just something through your own research that you were able to yep. see. And we see that happen with a lot of patients, that they'll read this or find that out. We'll right. check the, the connection, like sure enough, they're reactive to it, work on it, and then a lot of times that's where we get our breakthroughs. Right, exactly. So good job. So great, yeah, well thanks a lot. Yay.